Hi everyone, I'm Karina Gantus. I'm the host of the radio show Author Assist on Arts First Network. I'm also a podcaster with Narrations by KK and Behind the Pen, which is interviews with other authors about their journey as a writer. I am a published and contracted author with 13 books. I also run Author Assist, which is uh, 30 services that help independent authors with their marketing and promotion. Today I'm talking about my new release, which is a new genre for me. It's a dark mafia thriller romance uh, called Broken Chains. If only she stuck to singing in bars, if only the idea of wanting to become an author had never entered her mind, if only she'd never met Alex. That one meeting caused an avalanche of fate to clash with a dangerous destiny that forced Liz Finley to become the most wanted woman in the world. Stalked by three deadly mafia bosses, Liz has to learn to survive, pass from one brutal hand to another, tortured and abused. It's her blood, her name, that lands her in trouble each time. Now it's up to Liz to find the strength, accept and become who she's meant to be, and finally break the chains that bind her. What's different and unique about this? Uh, quite a lot, actually. The first thing is I have three mafias, which is the Italian, the Greek, and the Russian. And what I've done in this book, and I've never done before, is to have legit language of each of this dialogue and then have it translated underneath in brackets in English. So, it's opening the marketplace to the Russians, to the Italians and to the Greeks uh, with their own language in the dialogue and then translated. And I've never done that before. I don't know of any books that do that, especially not three different ones. I found it important to, to keep that uh, the languages, uh, the original language of their country in the dialogue. Also, Thing I've done that I haven't done before is I put my book out there before it's published. It's now with an editor at the second draft, but the first draft when is now on Wattpad and Inkit, and anyone can go on there and read uh, the first draft of the book. Every chapter I wrote went straight onto Wattpad. And I think I've had about 20,000 reads between the two places. Some people have left comments, uh, some people are secret readers, but I get to know uh, how many of them have actually binge and read from the first chapter right through to the end, which is really, really cool. Uh, and uh, my readers are there now for when the book is published and polished and ready for them to read the final version. I shall go back on to Wattpad and Inkit and um, leave a link and show them the cover of, the, uh, of uh, Broken Chains. <laughs> character yes well she is a dancer in a club and she decides she wants to become an author and she wants to to write about a agents and spy thrillers because she's addicted to a tv show called spooks which is about mi5 so she makes a decision to sit in a coffee shop and watch MI5, the building in terms, and watch who comes out and make notes. And it's all for research, but she's hoping that they take notice of her, that someone realizes that someone's been staring out the window for an hour and writing in a notepad. And it works. And she gets uh, grabbed off the street and taken and interrogated by MI5. Um, they find out, of course, that she's uh, just a, a nobody 
and has caused um, a lot of trouble for no reason. Um, she ends up working for MI5. It starts off with uh, her being an agent and doing a um, getting a mysterious email, coded email from someone. She's she's very strong and she goes through hell. I really put this character through hell from one torture to another until she grows and she becomes stronger for everything that she's been through until she finally becomes who she's supposed to be. It's a dark mafia thriller, so if you think like Godfather, anything to do with mafia and the mob, I hope that my book is very, very original. The storyline, the way I've done it with the dialogue, uh, the ending is uh, there's no uh, like um, marriage or pregnancy or anything like that in the end of the book, like there is in most of them. Um, so I hope that's different. Um, but yeah, if you love anything to do with uh, gangsters and mobs and uh, the mafia, then uh, you'll uh, really enjoy um it's a, it's a new genre for me and i've absolutely enjoyed it it's very very violent it's sexually violent there's lots of torture poor lady uh i do really put her through hell and if you're into that kind of thing and you like a good um uh, gritty uh, thriller then uh, you will love broken chains Okay, I shall read a small part of where Liz finally, finally stands up for herself and shows who she really is. As she was handing out the margaritas to everyone, she heard a young voice talking about the possibility of a coming war. I didn't know it was common practice for the wives to discuss mafia business. Liz turned to the girl who'd been gossiping, but another woman beside the loudmouth girl spoke first. Donna, please forgive her foolish tongue. She's young and not used to our ways, and I think she's probably drunk too much. Oh, I understand, Liz said, turned and smiled at the girl before turning around. Ha, huh, so Marco doesn't confide in you. Where's the trust? The women were trying to hush the girl up, but she got louder, as though she had a point to prove. My Richie tells me everything. Just the other day, he bought me a ring that would put yours to shame. Liz had enough, but she knew she needed to be diplomatic while dealing with the drunk. You say Richie talks to you about things, and even the future Mafia Queen doesn't know. Of course he does. He loves me and he trusts me. And this is while you're on your knees, I suppose, Liz asked. The others gasped and covered their mouths. The mouthy blonde continued her rant. I see the way you look down on me like you're better than us, but you're nothing but a Greek whore. There were gasps again and shouts of pleas to forgive her, but they knew that she'd gone too far and nothing they could say would save her. What is your name? Liz asked sweetly. Alicia. And your husband's name? Oh, we're not married, she snorted. I've only known him for a month. Is that so? Liz mused. And pray tell me where you heard someone called the future queen of, it of the Italian mafia a whore. Well, it's obvious with how many men took you when you were a prisoner. Richie says you were nothing to shout about. He'd had better. Makes me wonder how you keep Marco satisfied. Liz had enough. The sea of ladies parted as she stor stormed towards Alicia, raising her hand. She struck the woman's face and watched her crumble to the floor. How dare you refer to the Don as though your best buddies? How dare you come in my house and disrespect me in front of my family? No man raped me. Our mafia does not condone rape, especially on female prisoners. The crying and screeching Alicia was doing was enough to bring the men back into the room and Marco was furious. Liz stepped over Alicia as she continued laying on the floor until her man picked her up and held her, trying to get some sense out of the girl. Liz ignored all the other capos and whispered something to Marco. 
and then told him she had to take care of this herself or lose face and that would be disastrous for them both. He stepped back, showing to the others that he was keeping out of it. Liz stood in front of Richie as, she, as he held on to Alicia and she continued to play the act of a victim. Liz raised a hand and slapped him around the face. She knew that the other capos were probably reaching for their guns and she hoped Marco would stop them from getting shot. How dare you come into my home, to my table, with a whore that you barely know on your arm. She has disrespected me and she has disrespected the Don by referring to him more than once his first name. Do you think you have the right to disclose vital secret mafia business to this whore? Did she sign your murder? No, he whispered. What was that you just told your Donna? Why don't you look in your Don's eyes and repeat that? Liz stepped back, knowing Marco would take care of the rest. Guards! Marco yelled, and immediately the couple were held tight. You broke the emerta, and you know what the penalty is. Death. Take them away, Marco commanded. You can go over to Wattpad and Inkit and you can read the full first draft over on there of Broken Chains or you can wait until it comes out, the final draft, nicely polished. I'm Karina Gantis, you can find me on Facebook, on um, Instagram, Twitter, uh, where else? Um, we, uh, me, we, you can find me over there. Any platforms you'll find me or just Google my name, Karina Gantis. Uh, my books are all on Amazon, they're on Lulu, they're on Barnes and Noble, on Apple, and my podcasts are again on Apple, on Google. I hope you go out and, and read uh, Broken Chains and let me know what you think. Thanks.